What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of the Arsenal Evo RTG EA Sports have given us a brand new Evo and I have got somebody to use it on but I might think about restarting Gabriel Jesus and I'm going to take you on to foot.gg momentarily to have a look at why but first, the 83 by 10 is back guys, we've been crying out for it it's repeatable three times per day. I wish it was five. Oh, go on. Lever. Lever. Nope. It's Pajor. Um, yeah. We, oh, uh, that was a double walkout too, which is great. Um, yeah, I wish it was five. And it, I mean, it is nice. It's nice to have here. But uh, EA have also given us 91 Van Persie impacts and the brand new Soul Campbell as well that we can hopefully pack. Right. What was I saying? Oh, I'm happy the 83 by 10 is back. I built two team of the week player picks with the duplicates that we had there. We put the 87. Ooh, give me that Foden. We put the 87 Martinez into uh, in the exchange. I have got about 50, maybe even 60 team of the weeks now, guys, as well, which is a bit mad. Um, I'll open those packs in my own time. I want to get into the next 83 by 10. I want to pack one of these uh, new cards. Is this going to be a double walkout? It's not even going to be a walkout, let alone a double walkout. It's Marcus Rashford. I'm not going to go and deal with these cards again, guys. I've got too many 84s, 83s. I've got no 82s or 81s left whatsoever, which is a bit mad. Uh, here's our 83 by 10 final pack. It's going to be Cobell, I hope. It is. I did not get a special card out of any of those. Wasn't to be for me. However... As I said, guys, what I'm excited to kind of... Uh, let's open this 19 players pack first. What I'm excited to kind of like... Oh. Wait, what? Alien Cam. Oh, is it Francesco Lee? Oh, my... Oh, it's JJ Acocha. Let's go. From the 19 players pack. Wait, I swear it was an Italian flag. Am I being dumb? Was it not... Was it the Nigerian flag the whole time? I know he's dirt cheap. There's no way he's actually going to be like worth more than about 40, 50 K. But he's five star, four star. He's got some pretty, pretty nice stats. We'll, we'll have to throw him into the team. No, oh man, love that. Love that. Anyway, when we come to the new evolution, it's called Club 99 Shooting. And I quite like it. The quote unquote problem we have with it, though, I'm going to show in a moment. Blackstenius comes quite decent. Finesse shot plus, quick step plus, which is brilliant. Rapid, Traveller, press proven, power shot, chip shot. Then has 99 shooting, obviously, with that good pace, that dribbling. Her passing's pretty poor. Her physical's good. I don't really know what chem style I'd put on her because her passing is that bad. Like an engine would be good because it'd give pace and dribbling um, and a little bit of passing. Um, but like... You know, a catalyst might be good as well, but then her agility and balance is quite low. Um, but she's then got four-star, four-star, and finesse shot plus. However, the reason why I want to take you guys to um, foot.gg is because, and here we go, is because, oh, by the way, guys, Van Persie and Sol Campbell, I need that. Van Persie's already cheap, and he looks banging. Sol Campbell's getting down there as well. But our Arsenal team is, is, is getting a bit icon-centric at the moment. I want to get it back into the non-icon players. Um, but the reason why, Club 99 shooting, uh, eligible players. No, what I'm going to do, actually, let me go to Evolutions players. Club 99 shooting, Club Arsenal, and apply. Gabriel Jesus, the card that we already have, because we put him in Jack of All Trades, now has the option to go to this, which is unreal. With an engine chem style, finesse shot plus, five star, five star, good physicals, great dribbling, perfect shooting, good pace, good passing. And we don't get to do this card because we did the, the jack of all trades first. However, and this is where I'm not going to rush into doing Black Stenia straight away on this. We have another Jack of all trades. And we have another Gabriel Jesus. Now, of course, I can't do Gabriel Jesus again because I already have an Evo version of this card. 
And I know people have had issues when discarding or getting rid of a card and starting again. But do I risk getting rid of the Gabriel Jesus I currently have? Which, by the way, I thoroughly like. He's actually not in the starting lineup at the moment. But uh, I do thoroughly enjoy him. Um, oh, I've actually got a different version, haven't I? Because I had a, a half-done, half-baked Evo. Point still stands, right? I could go and get another 5-star, five 5-star five Jesus, 89 rated, with cracking stats. Probably not as good dribbling, but maybe better composure. Um, I just don't know if it's worthwhile doing that in jack-of-all-trades. So let me know what you think, guys, and, and what you feel, because, yeah, like once we get, if, if we put Van Persie and Campbell into this team, and then Petr Cech as well, honestly, this team is mostly icons, and that's hilarious, isn't it? Because the whole point, like, I, I'm not like the, uh, like the biggest proponent of icons. Um, but, hey, I'm, I'm enjoying the team, so it doesn't matter. Um, so, yeah, I, I kind of haven't decided what I'm going to do with that yet. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. All right. I can't remember what I was doing <laughs> because I've been doing a whole bunch in between time and in the meantime. Uh, but I built 30 player picks. So uh, here we go. That Robin Van Persie. I think he looks insane, what it's worth. He is already down at 190. So is 89k. He is already down at 190k. And he is just crashing, crashing, crashing. Give me that Beth Mead. Um, I think I want him for this RTG. And I don't want to like wait, 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 wait to buy him. But I also don't want to buy him and then be in a situation where it's like, oh God. We've lost like 70k coins on him in like, you know, overnight. So I'm kind of just going to monitor his price. If I feel like he's hit a bottom and is then starting to rebound, I'll go and buy one. If he continues to crash, I will uh, I will just hold my, uh, you know, bide my time. Um, at this moment in time, not only is Robin Van Persie he's now 170k. That's mad. Not only is he down at 170k, Sol Campbell is already down at 500k. And he looks mad. But Ashley Cole is now also under 400k, which is mad. But on top of that, that Xabi Alonso at 660 is quite mad too. Um, Prince 94 is 80,000 coins. First of all, she actually looks like a player I would really enjoy using. So I think we're going to pick her up today to use her. But second of all, that is a mental, mental price. Like, that is so cheap. I did pack, by the way, guys, Clint Dempsey. Uh, I was doing some, like, exchange packs and stuff. And uh, we actually built an 80 triple upgrade. And out of that 80 triple upgrade, I ended up getting Clint Dempsey. So it's either another 89 for the exchange or who knows, maybe we'll throw him into some games as well uh, when we can. So, uh, yeah, these uh, these started off quite well, didn't they? A couple of, like, in like walkouts and high rateds. But they've kind of died down a little bit right now. Hopefully EA will give us one more little something-something. One more 89 plus would be very nice. Do you know what? Give me one more of these uh, Golazo. Ooh, 88 Bernardo Silva. Love that. Give me a Golazo card. Why not? We've only got three left on the other page. Um, so six more all together to go. I did already take an Ericsson, I know, but I'll use all the duplicates for a couple of Team of the Week uh, player picks anyway. Javi Galan can go in there. We've got four left now. I know I've already taken a Leroy Zane as well, so three left now. Damn, that's cold for me, eh? They really have not niced us very well. All these, uh, these SBCs, but get what you get. I think Greb Van might be a dupe as well. Yeah. Get what you get. You don't get upset. Loads more exchange packs there. Loads more packs to do uh, a whole bunch of stuff with. But first, as I say, guys, we're up to 357,000 coins right now. Our uh, rivals rewards, obviously, were very, very nice. For me, Prinz at 80,000 coins, guys. It's a wild price. He's, oh, okay, hold on. I need to make sure we get the 94. 
Britain. Is there a way to uh the ninety one is down like way down. Ninety four showing up here. Okay, maybe it, it's literally footbin says eighty thousand five hundred, but maybe it's a little bit higher. I think guys, the one that I saw on footbin must have been like a massively cheap listed one. I did end up buying her for eighty eight thousand coins, which I still think is a really <laughs> reasonable price for a card that I think looks amazing. So we're gonna use uh, her in some of our uh, games today. Um, I am so tempted, so tempted by Robin Van Persie, but he continues to crash. He is now down at 168 for that RVP. Uh, let's go and have a look at him. Hopefully we'll be able to actually see Van Persie on as a, they got the uh, Golazo icon. Yes, Golazo icon. Uh, we want. Oh, there we go. Uh, we want to go to Van Percy, and we want to go to what the? Heck? All right, it's all right. It's only a game. Why I have to be mad? We want to go Van Percy. Do want to go to Golazo icon? Golazo. Yeah, this is mind blowing to me. One six five. He was there for one fifth. Guys, that is like I honestly don't know if he can get cheaper. But the fact that Prince is at like ninety k, maybe he can get cheaper. The fact that he's showing up there at one fifty is mad. Now there's not many at one fifty. I think I would buy him at 150 and just have him. And just like that, guys, I sniped him at 150. Um, he's come down to about 165 on average. I ha I just have a feeling he can't really go lower. Maybe he does. Maybe he becomes a 100k icon. But he's 5-star, 4-star with insane playstyles, insane stats, insane playstyle pluses, high-low work rates. I want to play with him. I'm going to play with him. Let's see what that does to the team for the uh, the upcoming games. Does that mean Peter Crouch is out very much potentially? Um, I'll show you as well the uh, the fact that we packed Dempsey there. We've got a Kotcher as well. Oh, man. I might just put these guys on the bench. I might not use them. But I might put them on the bench. But Prins, we are definitely using instead of Crouch. I do like Crouch. I am actually going to put Crouch on the bench. Uh, Van Persie, we're going to start instead of Thierry. Um, but Henri will be uh, very quickly, very quickly onto the team. Um, other than that, maybe like this Dempsey is good. Crazy. No, we'll we'll, we'll put Dempsey and Okocha on the bench. We'll keep Williamson for that defensive sub because we've got Kivior as well. Um, so that'll be the starting lineup, guys. I'm going to find the right chem styles for these guys, and we are going to get into some games. All right, guys, as we go into the gameplay for today, we, of course, are using a bit of a different team. Uh, it's nice to keep trying new players, and I've actually uh, enjoyed the experience of playing with new players. I was just talking on stream a lot about how good some of the players are for how cheap they are. And, and the reason, like, they're cheaper... There's there's a few, right? Packs are really easy to come by. Everybody's team is already so good that unless you get like one of the top two or three players, it probably doesn't break into people's teams as well. But also, EA, but you know, this is going to sound weird coming out of my mouth, but EA are doing well with store packs at the moment. EA are actually giving store packs that represent reasonable value. Uh, yes, it's untradeable players, which is a pain, but we usually store packs are just synonymous with being an absolute ripoff. Um, and I would never, as always, encourage anyone to spend FIFA points into the store. If you're the sort of person that already spends FIFA points on this game because you have extra disposable income or, you know, you get genuine entertainment and enjoyment out of spending FIFA points, then these store packs are good for the FIFA points. Also, 
and it is a lot of coins. But if you guys do have coins in this game, these store packs represent decent value for coins. Once again, it does mean that you're taking your coins and turning them into untradeable players. But this game is just going in an untradeable manner. But because of that, uh, because of those kind of like small reasons, uh, we're starting to see quite a lot of, uh, like I say, quite a lot of um, players that are incredible go by the wayside. And what I think a lot of people really don't appreciate, and you can only really appreciate when you start experimenting with different players and different playstyles, and specifically different playstyle pluses, is there's a lot of really good players that have really good playstyle pluses that make a big difference. But because people are so set in their ways, they don't get to experience it. They don't, don't get to use it. And so um, because I've been kind of forcing other players into the team that I've been using, I've been getting to experience a lot more players whilst maintaining the Arsenal team, which has been an amazing experience as well. Um, and so it's been nice. Like, you know, we, we played here. We had Prins up front and the 91 Van Persie at right wing. Um, it is fair to say that I genuinely don't like them. I just don't like them. They're bad, right? Both of them are bad. It makes sense to me a little bit now why their prices keep crashing. I couldn't believe Van Persie. I sniped him at 150. He crashed, he crashed, he crashed. He's now down to 90,000 coins. So the the coins that I spent on him, I've lost 60,000 of those coins. I could have done so much with 60k coins. Just just coins at the end of the day. It doesn't matter, right? Team of the season is around the corner. But um, it, yeah, it's fair to say that the reason why he keeps crashing and crashing and crashing is because genuinely just a bad card. Uh, we've got a few comments from yesterday's video. Again, starting at the top and working our way down. Masquerade says, I think that was the happiest I've seen you about a pack pull in a long time. Goes to show how much you're enjoying your RTG at the moment. Nice to see. Yeah, I absolutely agree with you. Um, I, I'm actually looking forward to getting Sol Campbell and uh, we've got the 89 Van Persie, but the 91 Van Persie first owned on this account because uh, it's nice just to have them. The, the thing I am a little bit concerned about is it's becoming a lot of icons. And Omri, calm. Burkamp, calm. He's in the midfield. Mate, Burkamp would be one of the first players to come out, actually. Um, but I don't want to get caught up in a position where it's like seven Arsenal icons and four others. I really want to keep it to the current crop of players uh, and, and kind of use Evos to bring those guys up, which is what we're doing. But yeah, I've really enjoyed packing uh, Ashley Cole, to be fair. Um, Craig Faulkner says Clint Dempsey is a banging card with the upgrade. Clint Dempsey in general looks to be a banging card, and he's he's another one of these cards, right? How is he what twenty thousand coins? He's twenty two k. Once you Evo him, which doesn't cost anything, he gets ninety one pace, ninety dribbling, ninety shooting, ninety physical, ninety one passing, five star, four star. With Rapid Plus and Ping Pass Plus, two of the premium play styles in the game right now and the way the game's played right now. And then he also has eight other play styles. It is a ridiculous card. And he's tall as well. He's six foot one. It's a ridiculous, ridiculous card um, for 22k plus Evo. I actually don't know who I'm going to Evo. Uh, I haven't decided yet. Like... My two options are probably going to be Marquez SBC because I think he looks great as an Evo, as a card in general, and Evo, I think he genuinely looks insane. So he'll be one of my first options. The other player that I would have as the option for that Evo would be Peter Crouch because I just think Peter Crouch is already very good um, and there's not many others to put in there. However, the 90 Collair that we've got here... No, I pack him for tomorrow's episode, I think. I used him in some games and he was banging. Like, genuinely banging. And so, I might Evo him as well. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I haven't decided who I'm going to do. Let me know who you're going to do down below. Um, would be uh, much appreciated. Uh, Peyton UB says, We need a special David Raya to complete the full Arsenal special team. So, interestingly about David Raya is, he has got... An incredible record for Arsenal in the Premier League this season. I don't know who's going to be team of the season goalkeepers. I don't know who deserves it more than anyone else. You know, Arsenal have only conceded 24 goals in the league this season. Okay, Raya wasn't always the goalkeeper, so Raya might have conceded even less. Um, but if we actually look at like the stats 
of the goalkeepers. Uh, let me get to uh, the goalkeeping side of things for the uh, for the stats. We've got penalty a save save percentage this season. David Raya. Oh, this is just Arsenal. I was going to say David Raya is number one, but uh, he's not. He's not number one. He is. Uh, let me go into the Premier League and go to stats and uh, go down here now and have a look at these. So save percentage. So Allison's number one. Onana's there. Alphonse Areola's there. Saves per 90. Areola's there again. Goals prevented. Onana's first. Clean sheets. David Raya has got 10 clean sheets this season, which is two more than any other goalkeeper in the league, which is actually Leno and Pickford for Fulham and Everton. I would never have guessed that. So there's a chance Raya gets a team of the season, or at the very least, like, team of the season most consistent or whatever it may be, you know, but there's a chance Raya gets the team of the season. Um, I think if Arsenal do win the league, and I, I'm not saying we will, but if Arsenal do win the league, I think he'll be a shoo-in for a team of the season goalkeeper. But I think, yeah, I think if City win the league, I think Edison will be the team of the season goalkeeper. Obviously, we'll have two most likely. And um, if Liverpool win the league, I think Alisson will be team of the season goalkeeper uh, alongside probably Onana, to be fair. But yeah, more Arsenal specials, especially goalkeepers would be amazing. That is the end of the gameplay, guys. A bit slow to get going uh, this week. I've left my game super, super late. It's currently 7.30 on Monday evening, and I've still got 11 games to play. But let's get in to some packs. All right, guys. So to end today's video, we are going to have the um, Icon Encore 88 Plus Team of the Icon Year pick, whatever it is. Um, there are a few Arsenal icons in there, namely Vieira and Petr Cech. Petr Cech's pretty common, so hopefully we get him and we can get rid of Yashin. We're using a whole bunch of informs that we've grinded through the exchange to inform upgrades and player pick upgrades method. Uh, it might seem a little bit crazy to get rid of all these informs, but I genuinely don't need them. The whole point of these is to do the SBCs that come when we want them. Now, when it comes to the team that we just played with, guys, I would have explained through the uh, footage there, but the gameplay, first of all, was horrendous today until I restarted my game, then it got better. Two draw quitters is a pain, but I really didn't like Prins and I really didn't like Van Persie and it did influence the way I was playing the game, unfortunately. So uh, we'll go back to a different team for the next set of uh, five or ten games and hopefully pick ourselves up a few more comfortable wins. But to end today, come on, give us a beast, yay. Well, at least we got a future stars icon it's a cheap one that thunderstruck figo was decent i think we already had him once in this account carlos Poyle does look good i might put a shadow on him and actually play him some games and uh in the next episode and see if we can uh have a bit of fun with Poyle at back but uh there you go that was our icon pick that is going to be the end of the video if you did enjoy it be sure to leave a like rating comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already now guys i'm out peace